Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dehre Vagga and today I'll be playing the final blitz on Lee Chess and during the game I'll try to be as instructive as possible like always, making sure that there's something to be taken away as a learning that helps you improve your game to the next level. Now before I start with the game, I request you to subscribe to my channel and press on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of the videos that I'm posting up daily without a miss. So let's start with the game and see how it goes. Got the white pieces here. I'll play the London system setup. It starts with d4. A bishop on f4 unless my open plays e5 now. Okay, because e5 would mean my bishop will be in trouble. So I have to take first. Developing the bishop, then the knight, playing pawn to e3, bishop on d3, that are the standard places of your pieces, knight comes on, uh, sorry, knight comes on d2, pawn to c3, and queen comes on c2, so that bishop and queen are eyeing on the right diagonal. I can play pawn forward initially as well, since uh, an early c3 by my opponent, uh, sorry, early c5. Um, which means uh, my pawn is under attack and I like to proceed it further. The idea is, so if I try and defend it with uh, queen comes to c2, my opponent can get his bishop here and deflect because if I then take, he gets to take the pawn and then the rook. So yeah, that can be troublesome too. I'll take with the pawn. The idea is to then get back with the bishop and then attack the queen as well if required. Pawn forward would mean I'll take and now I can't, of course, so let's continue developing the pieces. Getting my knight on f3, the other knight will come on d2. Eventually guarding the pawn as well, if required. I can not play pawn forward because there's a couple of attacks here. Otherwise, I could have. And if I play pawn forward, yeah, maybe this pawn can go ahead. Attack the knight. And once the knight moves somewhere, I can play pawn forward as well. But then this weakens up the diagonal towards the king. So I should first castle maybe, develop the bishop outside and then quickly castle now. Thankfully my opponent is seeing some time. So I'll have some time to think when it's required. Um, what else we can do? Bishop here and then knight attacking the f7 can be a good idea too. But simple move like pawn forward stops it. Um, yeah, more or less that's it. If I play g2, g3, then I can develop my bishop here as well. But that takes two moves to remove my bishop from the casting. And king is wide open already. I don't want to take that risk. Um, I have to take here, no other option. Opponent does take. I can take with the bishop or the knight. I'll prefer taking with the knight maybe. And then I can go here if he doesn't take. And if he goes here attacking the f7, then I can take as well. Now I'll take with the bishop attacking the knight. Now he goes here attacking my bishop too. But how do we save this now? is the question so that can be simple as well i'll just attack his queen for now so now queen comes here no it can come here can give a check and i'll take out my bishop and then castle yep bishop comes out attacking the knight too simultaneously of course, I cannot move my bishop, it's pinned. Oh, opponent is clever, trying to attack the edge pawn now. I'll just move my pawn ahead, attacking the knight. Knight goes back on either of these squares. Taking would be a bad option because I can take back with the bishop. That doesn't spoil my castling. Let's see, what has he got? My development is not yet finished. That's what I'm a bit worried about. But otherwise, this looks in control. Bishop is eyeing the right angle towards the king side. Can be deadly as, as well. I don't want to take this pawn right away because otherwise, rook comes in and then 
there's an attack on G1, G2 suddenly, where I'm also planning to castle, and then queen can come here and cause more troubles. One and a half minutes of time advantage in a five minute game makes a lot of sense. I'm still thinking, oh, why am I often seeing so much of time? Is it really required or something else is going on? I hope he's not trying to cheat. Um, because that can be a problem otherwise. Why will it take so much of time for such a simple move is my question. But yeah, anyway, I'll castle. Uh, can come here as well, can go here too. Um, let's go here. Both the diagonals being controlled by bishop. Bishop pair is like super powerful right now. Okay, goes here. What have I got? Is there some troubles coming? I doubt. Let's fill up the knight then and go here. Takes on the pawn. Okay, so there was some troubles happening. Uh, pawn forward can save all the troubles for now, or I can even go with a bishop here, which backwards defends the checkmate. Yeah, makes sense. That's why my opponent was taking time, huh? That's nice. Knight cannot come now. That would be problematic for me. I'll have to some point of time play pawn forward. Because his knight is going to come in, he'll try to get his queen there and then checkmate on h2. h2 is being, yeah, see, I just said that it can happen and it's about to. If I move my piece aside, then also I'm not helping myself. How is pawn forward here? Yes, it's weakening, but... Or I should just try and move my rook so that I have a retrieval square. That also can be fine. Maybe that is the way. I have to hang in for another 50 seconds to win this. I'm not thinking of winning this on checkmate basis. Or I can maybe. Is there a way? Because I'm also attacking the right diagonal. Okay, I can take here. Get my queen more active. That defends and this is also there. And now I'm also attacking. Uh, knight can come here, then I move here. Queen here. Just need to get something in between. I can take the bishop. That's vulnerable right now. I could have actually taken the bishop first, but yeah, then the discovery attack would be bad. Eight seconds on the clock. Should not be a problem. Let's take with the queen. Looks fine. He was probably trying to cheat there. Otherwise, there's no one way that opponent is taking so much of time. Yeah. Anyways, that's over. And well in favor of me and if i analyze this game computer perspective yes white is way ahead a couple of points is more than enough yes a check can come in i can just simply move and then what then there's nothing and if the queen really wants to come in i can still take on the knight so the best move is not this but for the opponent is to go back with the bishop which will not happen but he'll try to continue his attack with the queen and I can come back. Uh, yes, a discover check can come, but that's it. I can take the bishop, I take back. And there's nothing stopping me from taking this knight off. So he has to go away. And wherever he goes, uh, I can take the knight and he can take mine. And after that, if you see the position wise, white is way ahead, extra piece, extra center pawn. Um, not extra pawn, but yeah, extra center pawn. Yes, my opponent has three pawns here. I have one, but peace is enough to win this. So yeah, that was more or less it. I hope you like the video. Do let me know your feedback. 
and always try to hang in on time if your opponent is too slow maybe busy cheating or whatever yeah thank you so much for your time take care bye bye